I, I, from the looks of it, it seems like we've gained altitude. Yeah. <laughs> what? We've gained quite a bit, to be fair. I brought you here. It seems. What? Why? I am the bad guy. <laughs> Oh, I've been hacked by aliens. Oof, oof. Alright, alright. That feels like an introduction. It's a cool intro. I feel like I spent way more time than I was supposed to in the first part there. I've been going for over 30 minutes now. I mean, is this a game or is it a movie? It looks like it's like some kind of Spider-Man intro from the the good old Tobey Maguire ones. And then like... In Hell. <laughs> it's kind of weird. That like... Organic AI-ish. I don't know how to describe it, really. But, I mean, we had freaking uh, alien come on the ship that started a fire, so, you know, I guess everything is possible. And we are in Saturn. Well, not on. In orbit of Saturn. I restarted your core systems. You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. <laughs> but anyway, without you, I'm not going anywhere, so... I'll come back. Okay, first off... Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Sam, here's the deal. I'm stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so I'm going to try something different here. Ooh. I'm getting in the spear! Okay, that's audio at least. Almost there, just a sec. Okay, Sam, I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. Nice. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non station devices like laptops. There. 
Looking good, Sam. Okay. Let's see if you can move it. Fly over to me. Oh, playing ball. There you go. I'm gonna push her through the hatch. Let go. Oh, never mind. It stopped. Great. Battery is low. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. Alright, now we've got real low sensitivity. <laughs> okay. There we go. Good. Good. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. The Sphere CO2 refill station is online. Okay, great. I need to get this sensitivity up a bit. I want to see cursor sensitivity. That's the one I want to that works. get down. That's maybe a bit too much, but you know. There you go. All right. Well, that's fine. It's a bit low, but it seems hard to calibrate. All right, then we got gameplay, click sensitivity. Let's get that checked up there. Now, you can release yourself from the it's sphere. A bit much. It's like when you move, then it continues to move a bit further ahead. I don't know if it's just lag doing to my recording software. I don't know. It seems to, to your main OS, just give like lag to a lot of right things. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. Great. Can't believe that all actually worked. Right. So, the rest of the station is dark, and the horizon arm is running on emergency oh. power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board, the EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. All right, let's go explore. feels weird to control this because the camera is so weird. Pretty difficult to control. It's like when I stop moving it keeps going, you know. Alright, what we got here? Some buttons. Well, I didn't get what I was supposed to do. I'm just exploring. I'm gonna find some more of that alien comb. Oh, we got storage. Oh. Come on. Am I in the vents or something? Is there going to be an alien crawling out soon? Is that a wall? Oh, I can't fit down there, can I? Is that a light flickering or is it like some electricity shit going on? No response. So weird to control this. Portion. ECC. Was that just a floating astronaut there? That's wicked. Right, so I can't go anywhere from here, can I? Because I can't open that thing. No response. Yeah! <laughs> To be honest, I'd, I'd probably rather just use a, a, a camera. Oh yeah, that's a spear. Oh, I just couldn't do it from the hatch. Alright, alright, alright. I'll do it from the, from the spear, I meant. Good shit, alright. Let's just keep 
go and is that a camera? Oh. Well, hello. Sam, was that you? I think the backup batteries are struggling to cope. Hang on a sec. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a window. What was that? What was that? Oh, okay. I've switched off a few other systems. Seems to have helped. I don't know how much longer this will last. We need the EFR online. Alright. Well, we'll just continue and pretend like nothing happened. It's a bit laggy, in it? I think it might be my recording software messing with me again. It's supposed to be one of the best, but... Suppose not. Rightio, alright, switch to Macho Camera. Let's see what we can do here. Through private area, crew bunk. Is the uh, door thingy? It's not connected. Alright, let's pair. 312. Offline, come on. Schematics. I don't know if that's gonna help, but it never does. Good shit. Alright, um let's see, where are we? We're getting there. We're trying to get into that window two. So there's two doorways here. I can go in there. Alright. Let's uh try and do that. Is that where I came from? Bunch of floating crap in there. I'm lost. Maybe I can open it from the other side. Let's see what we can do. Nope. So anything else? Just a link to the laptop. System end. Hold to connect. Aha! We got a schematic for one of the hatch locks. Okay, you should now be able to refer to that schematic to unlock the hatch via your system links. Right here. Alright, let's start connection, draw connection. Oh, it's a view schematic. Alright. So, what? Alright, let's do L1 first. That's. Was that not right? L1 is. Free up. Two to the right and three up. Error hatches locked. No shit. Ah, oh, all right. So that's to do the things. So unlock is L three. All right. Ah, oh, jeez, it's gonna be a bit harder. So three down. That should be here. And then one left. Two up. Let's just give it a fucking go, shall we? I, I can't remember this. That wasn't right. Ooh, I think I almost had it to be fair, though. So, like this? What did I do now? Was that not the right thing? Ooh, I went the wrong way. Alright, gotcha. No. Oh. Oh. So like this. I'm going to... Uh, not going far enough, is that it? Had you locked? Yes! Ah, oh, jeez, that took ages. Alright, let's go back to this video. Wait, what? 
Did I not just open it? Did I open a different door? Am I looking at the wrong one? I probably am. That's probably to E4, isn't it? And which one did I unlock? Oh! There we go. Gotcha. So what now? Am I not in the uh, right area? Yeah. Alright, let's enter camera. Was that document scan? Alright. I don't want to read that. Alright. <laughs> See the other camera up there. What we got? What we got? I'm um. What go. would you like me to do? I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Need to get the EFR, the fusion reactor, online. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, uh, I thought this was the uh, room where I did that. Oh. Alright, let's see, so this must be out of range. Alright. I have no Fancy. idea how that thing works. It was something Josh was working on. You're pretty much on your own, I'm afraid. Do what you can, just get it online. 